I'm delighted to have you as part of this community. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for choosing our video on Percival Everett. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Percival Everett, born December 22, 1956, is an American writer and distinguished professor of English at the University of Southern California. He is best known for his novels Aroja 2001, I Am Not Sidney Poitier 2009, and The Trees 2021, which was shortlisted for the 2022 Booker Prize. Roger was adapted as the film American Fiction 2023, written and directed by Cord Jefferson, starring Jeffrey Wright, Sterling Kelvin, Brown, and Leslie Uggams. With our curiosity piqued, let's embark on a dedicated exploration of personal life and education and its fascinating intricacies. Percival L. Everett, named after his father, was born in Fort Gordon, Georgia, where his father, Percival Leonard Everett, was a sergeant in the U.S. Army. His mother was Dorothine Stinson Everett. When the younger Everett was still an infant, the family moved to Columbia, South Carolina, where the boy lived through high school. He was the oldest of several children. His father became a dentist and his parents continued to live in South Carolina. The younger Everett eventually moved to the American West. Everett earned a bachelor's in philosophy from the University of Miami. He studied a broad variety of topics including biochemistry and mathematical logic. He earned a MA in fiction from Brown University in 1982. He now lives in Los Angeles, California, with his wife, the novelist Danzi Senna. In this part of the video, we'll be delving deeper into literary career and analyzing its key components. While completing his MA degree, Everett wrote his first novel, Suda 1983. His lead character was Craig Suda, a Seattle Mariners third baseman in a major league slump, both on and off the field. Everett's second novel, Walk Me to the Distance 1985, features veteran David Larson after his return from Vietnam. Larson becomes involved in a search for the developmentally disabled son of a sheep rancher in Sluts Hole, Wyoming. The novel was later adapted, with an altered plot, as an ABC TV movie entitled Follow Your Heart. Cutting Lisa 1986, reissued 2000 begins with John Livesey meeting a man who has performed a caserine section. This prompts the protagonist to evaluate his relationships. In 1987, Everett published The Weather and Women Treat Me Fair, Stories, a collection of short stories set mostly in the contemporary Western United States. In 1990, Everett published two books refashioning Greek myths, Zulus, which combines the grotesque and the apocalypse, and for her dark skin, a new version of Medea by the Greek playwright Euripides. Switching genres, Everett next wrote a children's book, The One That Got Away 1992. This illustrated book for young readers follows three cowboys as they attempt to corral ones, the mischievous numerals. Returning to novels, Everett published his first book-length western, God's Country, in 1994. In this novel, Kurt Marder and his black tracker Bubba search God's Country for Marder's wife, who has been kidnapped by bandits. Marder is not sure whether he wants to find her. The book is a parody of westerns and the politics of race and gender. It includes a cross-dressing George Armstrong Custer. In 1996, Everett published two books, Watershed has a contemporary western setting, in which the loner hydrologist Robert Hawkes meets a Native American small person, who helps him come to terms with the interrelation of people. That year, Everett also published his second collection of stories, Big Picture. In Frenzy 1997, Everett returned to Greek mythology. Vlipo, Dionysus's assistant, is forced to undergo a frenzy of odd activities, including becoming lice and bedroom curtains at different times during the story, which he narrates. These events occur so that he can explain these experiences to Dionysus, the demigod. Glyph 1999 is the story within a story of Ralph, a baby who chooses not to speak but has extraordinary muscle control and an IQ nearing 500. 
he writes notes to his mother on a variety of literary topics based on books she supplies. Ralph is kidnapped several times by parties trying to exploit his special skills. His odyssey as written by four-year-old Ralph teaches him more about love than intellect. Grand Canyon, Inc. 2001 is Everett's first novella. In it, Rhino Tanner attempts to tame Mother Nature with a commercialization of the Grand Canyon. In 2001, Everett also published his satirical novel A Roger, in which he portrays how the publishing industry pigeonholes African-American writers. The novel, a metafictional piece, revolves around the main character's decision to write an outrageous novella based among the urban poor and dissolute, entitled My Pathology. The writer renames it as fuck, wanting to push the edge of acceptability and influenced by what he calls ghetto fiction, such as Richard Wright's Native Son and Sapphire's novel Push. A history of the African-American people proposed by Strom Thurmond, as told to Percival Everett and James Kincaid 2004, is an epistolary novel that chronicles the characters Percival Everett and James Kincaid as they work with U.S. Senator Strom Thurmond R.S.C. occasionally and his aide's crazy assistant, Barton Wilkes. The latter orders the authors around even as he stalks them. Also in 2004, Everett released American Desert and Damned If I Do, Stories, another collection of short stories. In American Desert, Ted Street plans to drown himself in the ocean but is killed in a traffic accident on the way there. Three days later, Street suddenly sits up in his casket at the funeral, although his head is severed and he lacks a beating heart. Throughout the rest of the novel, Street undergoes an odyssey of self-discovery about what being alive really means, exploring religion, revelation, faith, zealotry, love, family, media sensationalism, and death. Wounded, a novel 2005 tells the story of John Hunt, a horse trainer confronted with hate crimes against a homosexual and a Native American. Hunt avoids getting mixed up in the political nature of these crimes, taking action only when he is forced to do so. Everett's 2006 collection of poetry, Ref Gesture, features one of his paintings on the front cover. His 2010 poetry book, Swimming Swimmers Swimming, was published by Red Hen Press. The Water Cure 2007 is a novel about Ishmael Kidder, who has had a successful career as a romance novelist until the death of his daughter, when his life takes a dark turn. In a remote cabin in New Mexico, Kidder has imprisoned a man he believes to be his daughter's killer. The book's title refers to one of the torture techniques Kidder uses on the man, namely waterboarding. In 2009, Grey Wolf Press released I Am Not Sidney Portier. The protagonist, with the name Not Sidney Portier and a physical resemblance to the actor Sidney Portier, meets challenges relating to identity and racial segregation across North America. He faces similar challenges in identity construction in relation to his adopted white father, Ted Turner. Assumption, a novel 2011 is a triptych of stories with some characters who have been in earlier Everett stories. Big returns to the character of Odom Walker, deputy sheriff of a small New Mexico town. He is on the trail of an old woman's murderer. But at the crime scene, his are the only footprints leading up to and away from her door. Something is amiss, and even his mother knows it. As other cases pile up, Ogden gives chase, pursuing flimsy leads for even flimsier reasons. His hunt leads him from the seamier side of Denver to Hibby Commune as he seeks the puzzling solution. In February 2013, Grey Wolf Press published Percival Everett by Virgil Russell. In 2021, Grey Wolf Press published The Trees, a satirical novel about historic and contemporary lynchings in Mississippi, the South and across the U.S. It was published in the UK by Influx Press. It won the Ennisfield Wolf Book Award and was shortlisted for the 2022 Booker Prize. Dr. No, published by Grey Wolf Press in 2022, won the 2023 Pungine Stein Book Award and was named a finalist for the 2023 National Book Critics Award for Fiction. Everett received a 2023 Wyndham Campbell Prize for Fiction. In 2023 the film American Fiction was released, with a screenplay adapted by Cord Jefferson from Everett's novel A Roger. 
Jefferson also directed the film. In this part of the video, we'll be delving deeper into novels and analyzing its key components. Pseudo-Viking Books, 1983 Walk Me to the Distance Clarion Books, 1985 Cutting Lisa Tigner and Fields, 1986 Zoo's The Permanent Press, 1990 For Her Dark Skin Owl Creek Press, 1990 God's Country Faber and Faber, 1990 For Watershed Grey Wolf Press, 1996 The Body of Martin Aquila Owl Creek Press, 1997 Frenzy Grey Wolf Press, 1997 Glyph Grey Wolf Press, 1999 Grand Canyon, Inc. Versus Press, 2001 Roger University Press of New England, 2001 A History of the African American People Proposed by Strom Thurmond, as told to Percival Everett and James Kincaid with James Kincaid Akashic Books, 2004 American Desert Hyperion Books, 2004 Wounded Grey Wolf Press, 2005 The Water Cure Grey Wolf Press, 2007 I Am Not Sidney Poitier, A Novel Grey Wolf Press, 2009 Assumption Grey Wolf Press, 2011 Percival Everett by Virgil Russell, A Novel Grey Wolf Press, 2013 So Much Boo Grey Wolf Press, 2017 Telephone Grey Wolf Press, 2020 The Trees Grey Wolf Press, 2021 UK Influx Press Dr. No Grey Wolf Press, 2022 James 2024. In the upcoming section, we'll be dissecting short stories and exploring its intricate connections to our topic. The Weather and Women Treat Me Fair, Stories August House Publishers, Inc. 1987 Big Picture, Stories Grey Wolf Press, 1996 Damned If I Do, Stories Grey Wolf Press, 2000 and For Half an Inch of Water Grey Wolf Press, 2015. In this section, we'll be deep diving into poetry, unraveling its complexities and uncovering valuable insights. Ref Jeshua Red Hen Press, 2006, a collection of poetry abstraction and in flung with Chris Aboni Akashic Books, 2008, a collection of poetry Swimming Swimmers Swimming Red Hen Press, 2010, a collection of poetry There Are No Names for Red, a collaboration with Chris Aboni, Paintings by Percival Everett Red Hen Press, 2010, a collection of poetry Trouts Lie Red Hen Press, 2015, a collection of poetry The Book of Training by Colonel Hat Thompson of Roanoke, VA, 1843, annotated from the Library of John Celsius. Calhoun Red Hen Press, 2019. In this part of the video, we'll be delving deeper into children's literature and analyzing its key components. The One That Got Away with Dirk Zimmer Clarion Books, 1992, The Children's Book. Now, let's shift our focus to contributions and embark on an intellectual exploration of its various dimensions. My California, Journeys by Great Writers Angel City Press, 2004 Everett's introduction was added to the 2004 paperback edition of the Jefferson Bible. Now, let's shift our perspective and explore as guest editor through a fresh lens, unlocking new perspectives. Plashes, Fall 2014 Vol. 40, Nose 2 and 3. Now, let's shift our attention towards and honours. Abbott's stories have been included in the Pushcart Prize Anthology and Best American Short Stories 1990, New American Writing Award for Zulus 1996, P.E.N. Oakland Josephine Miles Literary Award for Big Picture 2001, Academy Award in Literature from the American Academy of Arts and Letters for Aroda 2002, Hurston Wright Legacy Award for Fiction for Aroda 2006, PEN Center United States of America Award for Fiction for Winded 2008, received an honorary doctorate from the College of Santa Fe 2010, Hurston Wright Legacy Award for Fiction for I Am Not Sidney Poitier 2010, Winner of the Believer Book Award for I Am Not Sydney Courtier 2010. Winner of the 29th Dos Passos Prize 2010. Winner of the Premier Gregor von Rezari for Foreign Fiction Translated into Italian for Wooded Ferreto. Translated by Marco Rossari 2015. Awarded Guggenheim Fellowship in Fiction 2015. 
awarded Phi Kappa Phi Presidential Medallion from the University of Southern California 2016, Creative Capital Award 2018, PEN Oakton Josephine Miles Literary Award for So Much Blue 2021, finalist for the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction for Telephone 2021, Hurston Wright Legacy Award for Fiction for Telephone 2022, shortlisted for the Booker Prize for the Trees 2022, winner of the Bollinger Ebronen Wohaus Prize for Comic Fiction for the Trees 2022, shortlisted for the National Book Critics Circle Award for Dr. No 2023, Wyndham Campbell Literature Prize for Fiction 2023, and Jean Stein Book Award 2023, Los Angeles Review of Books of Lifetime Achievement Award. I love hearing from you, so leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments.